If you need to measure the slope of your roof because you're estimating metal roofing material or for other reasons, it's important to be as safe and accurate as possible. So today on the Metal Roofing Channel, I'm gonna show you how to measure the slope of your roof from inside your attic, on your roof, or from a rake. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Subscribe if you're new here, comment down below with any questions. Love to talk with you. Today we're talking about how to measure roof slope. We're gonna do that three different ways, in your attic, on your roof, and from the rake or gable end of your roof. Now, a roof slope is defined as the relationship between a horizontal run and vertical rise, most commonly described in inches as a ratio. So for example, if you've heard someone say maybe 312 in relation to roof slope, that means that roof plane rises three inches over a 12 inch level horizontal run. It's based on the geometry of a right triangle. So let's go start in the attic and you're gonna need access to your attic, access to the underside of the decking, a tape measure, a level, and a pencil. So now we're in the attic and we found the roof plane we want to measure. Remember, roof slope is based off the geometry of a right triangle. So we're gonna use this roof deck to represent the longest leg of the triangle, or the hypotenuse, and the other two legs will form a 90 degree right angle. So roof slope is the ratio of the 12 inch horizontal run and the vertical rise in inches. So with your level, you're gonna mark a 12 inch mark with a pencil. Luckily my level is already 12 inches, so I don't have to do that, but if you have a longer level or a carpenter's level, you can make that mark at 12 inches to represent that bottom leg of the triangle. So you're gonna place your level here on the deck. Make sure you're as precise as possible in getting it level. And then you're just gonna measure straight up from that 12 inch mark, or in my case, the end of my level. And this roof has a 612 roof slope. Now there's a couple other ways that you can measure roof slope. Maybe you're on the roof already getting other measurements. You can do it from there as well. So let's get on a ladder and go check that out. All right, so I'm on my ladder. I got my roof plane here that I wanna measure. This is a different roof plane than we just measured in the attic, but we're gonna use the same method. Now, one quick note, if you're not comfortable getting on a roof or you're not comfortable uh, using a ladder, you're not a professional, I definitely recommend using the attic method for all the roof planes, or you can download smartphone apps uh, that you can measure roof slope from the ground. But right now, we're gonna use the same method as we used before, and if you have a roof with uneven planes like this shingle roof, um, it's not a standing seam roof, so it doesn't have that flat pan section to measure from. You're going to want to create a flat section with uh, something like a level or a board or something like that that spans over those uneven areas so that you can get an accurate reading. So again, got your level, tape measure, and you're going to start on this flat surface that we created. Get level. There we go. And then measure from the 12 inch mark that we uh, got earlier. Again, I have a 12 inch level, so it works out. <clears throat> Get set and then measure down from there. And it looks like we have a 312 slope on this roof plane. So you can also measure slope from a rake if that's easier to access. And here we are at the gable end of the house. Same deal, you're gonna measure from the underside of the roof here though. Gonna make sure you're level and measure straight down and we are at a 612 at this roof plane. Now you can also use smartphone apps to measure roof slope as well. So I have an example of that for you here. Again, you're gonna need to create a flat surface using something. So let me grab this here, get my flat surface. I have my smartphone. And here it's pretty simple. It just gives you a reading based on the slope of the roof. And I'm gonna put that here on the flat surface. And there we go, about a 612 again. I hope you found this video helpful in learning how to measure the slope of your roof. Comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that like button if this video was helpful. Don't forget, subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel for more episodes. I'm Thad Barnett, and as always, I'll catch you next time.